what's going on youtube we are back with another video husband wife hold on what's today what else? What else? What's today's date? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's birthday today. Oh, go shout it. It's your birthday. Ooh, it's your birthday. Go shout it. It's your birthday. Today's your day. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Birthday. Ah, hold on, what's that? Hold on, do that again. <laughs> Put that on your wrist, right? What that is, right? <laughs> uh, hope everybody's out there having a blessed day. Hope everybody's out there being safe, masked up, sanitized up. Oh, what else, love? What is it? There you know, so right now we're in the back of the cab. Uber. Oh man. Going away for the weekend. We all need a little getaway. Oh no. Oh, pick your shirt. What your shirt? Oh, I didn't pick the shirt. I don't know if I can read backwards. Unless God sent you. It's an entanglement. What's your shirt say? Oh, same thing. Okay. Oh, you want to see what's up? Go ahead, get your five minutes. It's mommy birthday. It's your mommy birthday. Yeah. 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 So you got more hair than most people. <laughs> That's right, so. When we get to our destination, we'll be right back. Today, baby. No, Sam, Sam. You try to copy me? No, it just runs in the family. Oh, runs in our family. Mm -hmm. Coffee games. Uh, a couple goals. 
Hey now. Uh, so it's my birthday. How are you feeling? Feel good. Yeah. Hmm. What you get for your birthday? I got a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. A whole lot of stuff. Love. Uh, I always feel love, but today is a good day. It's mm -hmm. special. Mm -hmm. My husband really surprised me. A little bit. And uh, we're out here right now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take in the birthday weekend out of home, away from home. No, 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 no. Away from home, mm -hmm. and um, taking the experience. But yeah, I love my 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 birthday morning. Yeah. It's so nice. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what you laughing at? You know something I don't? Wow. Mm. Yeah, we had a little grown folk fun. I'm kidding. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that good. Nice. So, you know, anything to make her happy. A happy mm. wife, happy life. Basically. Yeah. So, I'm kind of hungry right now. Yeah, so. And you know what? Actually, due to these COVID nineteen restrictions, things are just so strange. So we're in the hotel, but the hotel's um, restaurant is closed oh. due to the pandemic, and we're gonna have to go out and get some food. Mm -hmm. So I feel I'm just hungry. I don't care where we go eat. I just want to eat right now. You sure? I'm starving. Okay. So let's go get something to eat. Yeah. Free right now, you know, but we yeah, still have to be, be masked up and sanitized up. You feel me? Especially us because we mm. got the baby on deck and we don't want anybody coming too close. Mm, back up. Oh, back it up. Back it up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs>
for about 10 minutes, right? We finally set on a place to eat. We're gonna be, where are we? We're at Havana. We're gonna have a little Cuban food. Yeah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. The menu looking like Um, I'm about to pull it up. What do you feel like? Do you want an app? Do you want an app? Well, they don't have calamari. You know, we always get calamari. No calamari. So, do you want wings as an appetizer? You sure? You can say anything. Any. I'm gonna order everything on the menu. Whoa! 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 <laughs> okay, let's go for entrees. What did you like? How about you look at the menu? Okay. You look at it. to have a delicious cocktail because it's my birthday and I want to have a cocktail um, I was just thinking to myself now I'm like you know us growing up us aging is a blessing us having birthdays is a blessing you know so many people didn't live to see the age that I'm at right now and to have everything that you have prayed for come to existence is also a blessing. It's good. What do you think, my love? Definitely. I'm looking at the combos. Oh, the combos. So, you know, it's always a blessing to celebrate another birthday or even a blessing to wake up and live another day. Seeing that the times we're in, you know, with pandemic and, you know, the police brutality and you know the the killings that's going on you know and, and also killings in you know everyday life you know diseases and we can't take away the fact that you know corona isn't the only thing that's killing us out here you know we still have black and black crime and you know it, it's it's sad that even in the times that we're in we still find time to draw each other down and pull each other down and you know, these are the times we're supposed to really stand together, you know, and unify and, and bring bring some kind of unity to, to the forefront, you know, because together we could, you know, accomplish a lot. But if, if we keep going the way that we're going now, you know, ain't, ain't going to be enough of us left to, to carry on. Judge me. He don't be 
Ang ganda niya, You know that me for the girl goes, What am I doing that? What do you need me to be? And that's what I love. Like, if it's your journey and you decide that this is what you want to do, don't be judgmental on the people who, who don't want to take that journey or who feel like that's not necessary. Let them be. Let them be. Let me be. Definitely. So for me, I can't judge people who do drink. You know, if you want to drink, you drink. Just have limits. You have to understand that your body has a certain intake of BMI. If you don't know, look it up. After a certain amount of drinks, your body will let you know you've had too much. I didn't know what I was putting into my body. You know, you've always been able to stop when you feel like you've had enough. So it wasn't that you couldn't control the amount that you would drink. It was just you just saying, okay, I quit, I stop. You just been cold turkey? Is that yeah. for another day? Yeah, we, we're going to jump into that another day. But for, for now, you know, I didn't have a drinking problem, I was an <laughs> alcoholic, you know. You know, that's the, the next thing people are thinking, like, what you know, is I didn't have to go to AA, <laughs> you know, I didn't have to go to rehab or anything like that. I just, you know, just gave it up. You know, just like, one day you wake up and you're like, uh, I quit! Um, it's whatever. I didn't, I didn't feel like it was, like, important to me to, you know, to drink. I didn't feel like the urge, if you, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. You know, it's just like, I don't feel like drinking. You know, I gave up a lot of things, but, you know, drinking was one of them. But we, we're going to have a, a um, we're going to have a topic on things we gave up, you know, one day we, we'll jump into that. But for now, you know, we celebrate your wife's birthday. Yes, it's so nice to, you know, every time he says my wife, I'm like, that is me. I'm the my wife. <laughs> Gotta celebrate these people while they're still alive. Even if it wasn't her birthday, I'm still celebrate her. You know, because that's what you're supposed to do. Give the people the flowers while they can still smell it. I don't want a thousand people at my funeral. You know, the people who supported me and was there for me while I was alive. Those are the only people I would like to be at my funeral. I don't want you no know, t-shirts made. I don't want you know these posts that. You know, oh, I was just with him, or I saw him the other day, or I was just thinking about him. Uh, I don't need all that fake energy at my funeral. But enough of the negativity. We're gonna enjoy, you know, wife's birthday festivities we have planned for this weekend. We'll see where it takes us. favorite people in the world right here so you know she's always with us she's always with us that's right always on the hip always sleeping she'll make an appearance later when she wakes up Place pretty nice. I don't even think I've, had, I've ever eaten at a Havana before. I never ate there. Nice. It's very convenient that we have the outdoor eating, you know, outdoor dining. Because not a lot of places have. Oh, you need to take it off the yeah. Not a lot of places offer the outdoor dining, so it's kind of good that we still get to go out and eat, you know, feel like you're actually going out instead of doing takeout all the time. So it's good to still have that experience. But my concern is winter's around the corner. So, so I don't know what these people, they, they 
still got the takeout, I know that, but the, the experience of actually takeout. Hopefully we can go back to dine in and then they have like demarcated areas for people to sit. You know, in an area, maybe like if it's an area that's like 25 people, they seat like 10, you know? Yeah. With the social distancing still. Right. It's a different demographic to get used to out being outside and having people walk past and drive past you while you're eating. You know, being outside. I like eating outside. Yeah. Even if I go to restaurants and have outdoor seating, I want to sit outside if the weather's good. So I don't mind eating outside. It's good.